Jadon Sancho to Manchester United seemed to be happening very quickly this week, but at the same time happening very slowly. So what I'm going to do in this video, as I always do, is bring you bang up to date with the latest that's being said in Germany from Dortmund's side of the negotiations, the latest in the UK from United's side of the negotiations, and the latest from Fabrizio Romano. So make sure you drop a like on the video. If you're watching on Facebook, make sure you hit that share button. Share it with as many Reds around the world as possible. Let's bring you all bang up to date with the latest on Sancho to United. And where else can we start than Fabrizio Romano? Now, the truth is, there's not much to update that's new from Romano's point of view. He did an interview with United Stand, fair play to United Stand for getting that interview. And he repeated exactly what he's already said, that personal terms have been agreed, that United and Dortmund are locked in advanced negotiations for Sancho, but that that fee still hasn't been agreed. And it's still that fee and the structure of the fee. It's not really the price. 120 million euros has been the price that's come out in the press, you know, Dortmund or United. No one's ever actively denied it or confirmed that's the price, but that's the price that we think it is. And it's just the structure of it, whether it's 70 million up front with 30 and 20 in add-ons or installments, or 80 million up front with 20 in an installment and 20 in an add-on or 120 million up front. That's where the negotiations are locked. Because I think Dortmund want more up front for Sancho so they can go out and sign a replacement immediately. Whereas United would rather balance the payments over the course of a few years because it looks better on a cash flow. That's the truth of it. And that is why these negotiations have hit a bit of a hurdle. Because it's not to do with the personal terms. It's not to do with the fact that Sancho might or might not want to. He wants to join United. It's down to that upfront fee. But if you look over at Germany and the updates from there, that's where it gets a little bit interesting. Because the latest article from Bild says that Dortmund are the real winners no matter what happens. If Jadon Sancho is sold for 120 million, they get a huge price for a player in the post-coronavirus transfer market. It's very unknown. So that's very good business. If they don't sell Sancho, they get to keep Sancho, a great player, for another season. So in that sense, they really can't lose. And they really reiterate the fact that if Sancho is going to be sold before Monday, which is what they want, that deadline of the 10th of August, it has to be for 120 million euros. And Dortmund do not want to lose face on that. And that is exactly why they're being so staunch in their negotiations and why the compromise maybe is never going to come from the Dortmund point of view. So there are a few things to consider there. The first thing is, you know, if Dortmund do hold on to Sancho, and they try and sell him next summer, he'll only have 12 months left on his contract. So Dortmund will lose a little bit of power in the negotiations. You know, players do leave for big money like Eden Hazard, I think Mbappe as well, maybe towards the end of his contract. But they'll lose a little bit of power because he'll have one year less on his contract. But I do agree with Bild here that Dortmund are the real winners no matter what happens here. Either he's sold for big money, they get a replacement and they move on. That's what Dortmund do as a football club. And they're very, very good at it. Or they keep Sancho, clearly one of the best young talents in world football, and they have him for another year. Win-win. The only way that United win in this scenario is if we sign Jadon Sancho. And that's why I think Dortmund hold more cards than United in these negotiations. Now, Ed Woodward and Matt Judge, they'll be saying, look, it's the post-coronavirus. We're giving you X amount for Sancho. This is great business. You need to take it. The value of your asset, you never know, might be massively less next year, given what's happened this year. That's what they'll be saying. And they'll be using the fact that his contract only has a year left next summer. That's where United and Woodward and Judd will think that they have more power in these negotiations. But the reality and the truth is, it all lies with Dortmund. They hold the cards. If they want to sell Sancho, they'll sell him at the price that they want to sell him at. Although the fact that Sancho wants to join United helps. He won't come out and say, I want to leave Dortmund. I want to join United. He'll let it all go out in the press. He won't force the issue. I can't see Sancho handing in a transfer request. If he did that, all power would come back to United. But the reality is, is that Dortmund gave Sancho the opportunity when he left City. And it's a club that will clearly mean a lot to him. And I can't see him doing that and basically stabbing Dortmund in the back. So I think Dortmund do hold more power in these negotiations. And the compromise for me surely has to come from United's side. And if you look at how quiet the British press have been since that huge briefing where Ornstein, Ducker, 
Simon Peach, Simon Stone, all reported the same thing at the same time. That United were willing to walk away. It's all gone quiet on the Western Front. United are not leaking anything to the press now. So it seems that United feel they've done all they can inside the press and changing the narrative with Sancho and Dortmund. And obviously, Dortmund want to look like they've won this transfer deal. United want to look like they've won this transfer deal. But the reality is the only way United do win is if we sign Sancho. Whether or not it's five or 10 million more than we wanted to pay, it's not really going to affect the fans. It's not really going to affect anything. The only thing it will affect is the fact that Jadon Sancho will be a Manchester United player. And I think Dortmund know that. And that's why they want more money. But money is everything to the Glazers. Money is everything to Woodward and Judge. And if it wasn't about money, football wouldn't be a business, first of all. But we'd already have signed him already because it wouldn't matter about the price. But it does to United. It does to, it does to every football club to an extent. But certainly to Woodward because that's his ego. He wants to win this. And I think, again, that might be making this a little bit more difficult and why United and Dortmund are still locking horns over Sancho and that price and the structure of that price. So in terms of how it currently sits, United have agreed personal terms. That's something that Fabrizio Romano and all the German press said quite a few days ago. That's old news. Negotiations are still massively underway and it's all surrounding the upfront fee. It's not really the overall fee, but it's about how much Dortmund can get this summer in cash in their bank for Sancho rather than spreading it over a few years in instalments and add-ons and performance related bonuses, which is what United want to do. So that's the latest. If there's anything else that happens, of course, I'll bring it to you. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Do I look? I stand by what I said earlier this week. I'll be surprised if United signed Sancho before Monday. Then all the news broke for a couple of days. I thought, well, maybe I'm wrong. But then it's reverted to character. The same sort of thing has happened. And there's been a little bit of a stall in the last day or two, I would say day. And it all revolves around that fee. The compromise has to come from United because Dortmund have more power in the negotiations. They won't mind if they hold on to Sancho for another year. He's a sensational player. But United need to sign Sancho and they need him before hopefully Monday probably not but before the season starts in September let me know what you think about all of this you bought I'm sure you're bored of it but these are the latest updates from Germany and what Dortmund are basically saying to the press from the United Kingdom and what United are saying to the press and from Fabrizio Romano himself the godfather of United transfer news and what he has had to say make sure you drop a like on the video I'll bring you all the latest updates as and when they happen after this until next time, though, take it easy.